What's up, y'all? My name is Miles out of Dallas here to show you another RV today. And I'm really excited to show you this Cougar because it has a lot of upgraded features on it that we haven't seen before in any of the Cougars that I've shown. Let's go take a look at it. Real quick before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that's been supporting my page. I just went over a thousand subscribers, so that is all thanks to you guys, and I really want to say thank you and how much I really appreciate that. When I started this YouTube page a few years ago, just showing RVs because I started working at this dealership, I never expected that it would grow the way that it has and that I've had the reach that I would be able to reach. So I really appreciate you all that have subscribed. And with that being said, if you haven't subscribed, then click the subscribe button down below and I'll be posting more content as we get more RVs in and stuff like that. And I always try to show you the coolest and most exciting stuff that we get. So really want to say thank you and I really, really appreciate y'all, but let's go take a look at this Cougar. All right, so this here is the Cougar 32 RLI. This is one of Cougar's bigger travel trailers. It is going to be basically like a fifth wheel floor plan packed into a travel trailer inside of here, which is pretty awesome. And then if you've been around or know anything about the Cougar, they make a really, really good product. And why I'm most excited to share this one today is because we ordered this one with some additional features that I'm gonna show you that we don't typically get the Cougar in with. So I'm gonna show you what those are, like their solar package that they have on here. And then we got slide toppers on here and stuff like that. So we're gonna take a look at it. But as you can see, you have two awnings on the outside, just like you would on a lot of your fifth wheels. So a whole lot of awning coverage on here. And these awnings will adjust as well. So you can adjust the arms to change the pitch based on how you want that to be set up. You're gonna have two AC units on the top as well. So they're both gonna be Coleman Mach ACs. And what I like about that is they're actually very, very quiet. So when we go inside, I believe I have the ACs on. So you'll actually be able to hear it with the ACs on. And then take a look at this. You have frameless windows all along the RV as well. So this just looks super, super good on the Cougar, um, especially with the white and black decals on the Cougar to have the frameless windows to go along with that. Looks really, really good. And then we're gonna look through the pass-through storage, but we're actually gonna go to the other side because I wanna show you what's over there on that other side because that is going to do with the solar. Um, but one thing on the Cougar is you're going to have the 30 gallon propane bottles instead of the 20 gallon. So those will come standard on your Cougar travel trailer. And then as we go onto this side, you're going to see on the slide outs here, you have the slide toppers on top of every slide out. So the benefit to those, there's actually two of them. One is gonna be if any debris or anything like that is over your travel trailer and it falls onto the trailer, that is going to prevent you from having to get up there and sweep it all off when you're done with your camping trip. And then in addition to that, it actually blocks the sun from penetrating directly through the top of that slide out box. And it's gonna help with your insulation in those slide out box areas, preventing that sun to have direct contact with the top of your RV on those slide outs. So two benefits to those. Those are definitely an addition that I see people put on pretty often, but very rarely do we order them from the factory like that. So excited to see that standard on this unit, or not standard, but excited to see that we ordered it on this unit like that. Now here, you're gonna have the auto leveling and the power tongue jack. That is pretty common with the Cougars. Everybody pretty much knows that, but it is auto leveling. So it's one push of the button and that's gonna be right up in here where you see the auto level feature. But then look at this. This is all your solar controls. And you have this, plus you have the inverter up above because this unit actually has a solar panel on it. This was ordered with the off the grid solar package from Cougar. I'll show you this storage compartment as well here while we're here looking at it. This is gonna be under your bed. So you have the storage compartment right here underneath your bed. But the off the grid solar package basically is going to enable you to not only keep your battery charged, but there are also outlets inside the RV that are hooked up to that solar panel that will run off of solar. So I'll show you where those outlets are when we go inside, but I wanna get up on the roof and show you the panel on the roof. So give me just a second to get up there. All right, so we're up on the roof here now. You can see you have the two AC units and some of your vents and stuff like that up here. But this is your solar panel. So I will put the wattage for what the solar panel is on here because I don't remember exactly. And I'm sure when we go inside, we'll be able to see it as well. Um, I forgot to look before I came up on the roof, but I do not remember exactly what the wattage is. But we'll take a look at that. One nice thing about the Cougar as well is these white little dome looking things right here are attic vents. 
So basically that's just a spot for the air to come up out of the ceiling so that you do not have air or hot air just building up in your attic. It will be able to escape. And then also a lot of people always ask what these are. These are the WineGuard Air 360 antennas. So basically all your wiring and stuff and everything for your antenna is all underneath this dome. So it's a much less intrusive piece of equipment on your roof so that it doesn't get caught up hitting tree branches or anything like that. But let me hop back down and then we'll go take a look inside. All right, also worth noting while we're outside of this Cougar, two important things on the back end here. For some reason, Cougar is one of the very few travel trailers I see that has backup lights. So I'm sure you could think of many occasions where you'd be backing up your RV and it would be nice for the person behind you to know that you're backing up. This Cougar has backup lights as well as all their other travel trailers and fifth wheels. And now that I pointed that out to you, I'm sure you're gonna look at them and realize that a lot of trailers do not have backup lights. So the Cougars do have those, something that I love to see, just a safety precaution. And you do have an accessory hitch down here. So that will be a 300 pound accessory hitch underneath the RV. But with all that being said, let's go to the inside. Another thing to point out with the frameless windows as well is with your frameless windows, they'll open up on a hinge. So they'll open up this way and that will allow you to open them up while it's raining outside as well without any rain getting inside. Let's open up this door and then we're going to zoom out. Cool. So first thing, when you walk in, you're gonna have your in-command system here. This will control everything on your RV. The best part about this is it links to your phone. So everything that this unit can do, you can do from your phone over Bluetooth. So awning, slide out, set your AC, everything like that. And then I'm going to close this door. And now both ACs are running full blast right now. So as we take a look through this, I'm not sure what exactly you'll be able to hear, but the ACs are running full blast and it's pretty dang quiet. So we'll see if it translates for you being able to hear it through the video because I'm guessing that it might be so quiet you might not even hear it at all. But the ACs are on full blast right now. And then we'll walk through to the bathroom and bedroom so you can see what those look like. Radius shower, you have really deep storage in here. So lots of room for all your linens and different materials like that. You also have a towel rack, which is just a small little touch that you think every RV would have, but they don't. Also have storage underneath the sink as well. So definitely not lacking on the storage inside here. Going into the bedroom, king size bed. That's pretty much standard in all the uh, Cougar travel trailers. And then with that king size bed being in the slide out, you're gonna get a full wall to wall wardrobe and look at how deep this thing is. So it goes all the way back there. But if I stick my arm all the way back here, I mean, it is like, I gotta go all the way in to the closet to reach all the way to the back. I mean, I get all the way like waist deep pretty much to get all the way in there. So it is very, very deep in that closet space. And then finally, in addition to all that closet space, you have all of these drawers and cabinets to store all your stuff in. So again, lots of storage space in this RV. You have your AC in the bedroom. And again, this AC is running full blast. So it's pretty dang quiet in here. And now there will be a few people out there that are like, oh, well, we like the sound of the AC and we are used to it being loud and we like that. And can't please everybody, but I think the majority of people will enjoy the quieter AC. Um, now let's talk about a few features in the Cougar as we're looking around at this floor plan. First of all, you're gonna have all your windows on your campsite. So because of that, you'll have view to your campsite while you're out camping. You can see what's going on at the fire and what everybody's doing outside, what games they're playing, stuff like that. You have these seats here that look a lot like what you would see like in a movie theater um they went to this different seating i honestly am not sure what the brand is i know a lot of them i've been seeing the allure brand which i'm not sure if these are what those are or not because they don't have any branding on them but i can tell you they are super comfortable and will recline back very far i think let's see okay yeah let's actually recline it back and see give me a second i'm gonna recline it and show you how far back they go all right 
so, all right. So here you can see I'm 6'2". You see about how my body fits on this chair. I'm telling you, these things are incredibly comfortable. I am not even like a big fan of the recliners a lot of times just because they, I'm so tall that my legs usually hang off so far and they're just kind of awkward to get in a comfy position and stuff like that for me. But these are incredibly comfortable. If I was camping with my family, I could easily fall asleep here and like sleep through the entire night, no problem. So very, very comfortable. They are electric recliners as well. So they will have the electric recline feature and then sitting in them straight, they sit up pretty straight up. So they do have a pretty straight up sit or posture position, I should say. And then as you start to recline them back, it's going to start leaning back for you. And I'll show you kind of how that looks here. So if you go back, you'll see it starts to lay back and then you can chill here and watch TV. But this here is a little interesting as well. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the idea behind this was, but you can still rest your arm on here very comfortably. It's really no issue. But this here is set in place and does not move. So just something to keep in mind as well. All right, so moving on from the recliners, you're gonna have a legless dinette table. So it is all secured into the sidewall, which is gonna make it a lot more sturdy. And then this carpet here, this is basically like a woven, almost plastic-like material that they have in the slide out. So going to be very resistant towards any like dirt and debris and stuff like that. And then underneath you do have the wrap and astrofoil insulation in the slide out to help with insulation as well as any spills or anything like that. If anything was to get spilled on there or your pets make a mess or anything like that it will not soak into the wood underneath there in the flooring. So, and actually that takes me to another point because there is actually not wood in the flooring. And I'm so used to saying this, but Keystone has introduced their Hyperdeck flooring, which is in this Cougar. And I'm going to put up on a display here on the screen what that looks like. But basically they are using a composite flooring that is a bunch of different layers that are completely water resistant and no longer wood. So really excited about that. This flooring that they're using is more durable than the wood that they were previously using. And it is gonna have a better screw retention, basically meaning if you secure anything into the floor, the screws are gonna secure into there a lot more solid. And then finally, it's going to be more durable than wood and it is going to be water resistant. So they're very excited about that. They believe that these floors are, that they're putting in here now are going to completely eliminate the problem with water damage and stuff like that. And we're excited to see how these floors perform as they start to get implemented in more and more of these RVs. So big point from Cougar that they've been talking about a lot in Keystone in general is these hyperdeck floors that they're using and definitely something that is under the hood, but worth mentioning and worth knowing about. So as we go around here, you have a nice big TV. I believe this is about a 48 or 50 inch TV, if I remember correct. And then you're gonna have your fireplace with four different colors on the fireplace setup. I always like the purple. In the island, you have nice storage over here for quick access to things while you're sitting in the seating area. You're gonna have the 10 cubic foot refrigerator. So this is gonna run off the 12 volt. So your battery will be running this refrigerator and freezer. And then when you open it up, the nicest thing about this is they no longer have the coils and stuff in the refrigerator. So you have a lot more space in there. You have your microwave stove and oven and then you're gonna have all these storage drawers in this part of the kitchen there they're all the same size in addition to that you have all the storage in the island as well so same size drawers there and then underneath the sink all of that storage space underneath the sink here it does have a dual sink so it's split up into two pieces and it'll come with these covers on top of the sink there And then you have even more storage over in this area here with your kind of coffee bar, air fryer, Instapot type setup section. Also have deep storage here. So lots of storage opportunities in this kitchen and really all over the trailer. You can see as well, I don't think I pointed out the storage up above the seating here in the back. So that'll pass all the way through all your windows along the back wall. And then you also have storage behind the TV. So it's hard to open this up with one hand, but you can see back behind here, 
all the storage accessibility that you have behind the TV that will swivel out so you can see it from even the kitchen. And then you'll have storage compartments above the TV as well. So they did not skimp out on any of the storage opportunities in this RV. And then we'll go into the bathroom and show you what is going on in here. I know we kind of looked at it. There's not a whole lot, but you have the radius shower in the corner. It's going to have a great ceiling height due to the barreled ceiling. So the ceiling is going to have a curve to it, giving you more height. I'm 6'2", and I can even fit through the clearance door going into the bathroom. And so would have no problem standing in that shower. If, even if you're about probably 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, you'll still have room in there. It's also going to have a porcelain toilet. So solid surface toilet there. And finally, going into the bedroom, got the king size bed. In the slide out, you have storage doors above your bed as well with windows on each side. Nice thing about the bed being on the slide out is it is a flat wall there. So you can actually sit up against that wall. There's no slant to it or anything like that. The full wall for your wardrobe is going to be glass mirrors. So as this closes, it's all a mirror all the way across and then a very, very deep closet and wardrobe space that you have here. I basically get, can go like waist deep into that closet and it's huge. I mean, you could fit, someone could sleep in here. This is like the size of a twin size bed right there basically. So a lot, a lot of space. TV hookups in here if you do want to put a TV in the bedroom. And then your storage. So I think that just about completes everything that I wanted to talk about and show you. Oh, um, the, the outlets for solar. That was the last thing that I really wanted to show you because with this off the grid pack, you can do a few more things with that solar package. So you have outlets like this right here that actually run off the solar panel. So you can see it has the off the grid equipped sticker on there so these outlets that are built like this are going to run off the grid um, and they will have basically access to run off of the solar panel and i was looking through trying to find which ones they all were and i believe it's going to be that one in the kitchen and then this one here so in addition to that here at holiday world where i work if you want to add additional solar panels and additional inverters we can do that we can get you set up with whatever solar package you want. And I've seen people just load up the entire top of their RV with solar panels. So those are options that you can do if you wanna be able to run even more things for your RV. But that's pretty much gonna wrap everything up. I know there might've been one or two things that I missed. So if there's something that I missed that you wanna know about, let me know down below in the comments. And then like I said, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate every one of y'all that have subscribed and it means a lot to me. I really am appreciative of that. So if you haven't already hit the subscribe button down below and like the video and let's talk down below in the comments. If there's something that I missed that you want to know about, let me know. Let's talk about it. And then finally, again, my name is Miles. If y'all are looking for an RV, contact me. My email information will be down below and my phone number and contact information will be at the end of the video. So if you're looking for something, contact me. I'm in the Dallas area and would love to help you get in an RV. And until next time, I'll see y'all out camping. Oh, 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 oh,